psychologically you have to deal with the Chinese from a position of strength. If you deal with them from a position of strength, you can work with them, you can get what you need, and it can be actually done. But if they sense weakness, then you've had it. Well, the first thing is, you're not going to take on China without a vision. And I don't mean a national vision. I mean an international vision. Belt and Road an attempt to change the nature of the planet. India has to have a global vision. India now has to become an idea. And it has to become a global idea. The thing that's going to protect India is actually thinking big. Of course, we have this border issue and we have to resolve this border issue. But we have to change our approach. We have to change how we think. This is the, the point at which the road parts. If we go this way, we become a major player. If we go this way, we become irrelevant. And that is why I am aggravated. Because I can see that a huge opportunity is being lost. Why? Because we are not thinking long term, because we are not thinking big, and because we are disturbing our internal balance. We are fighting amongst each other. Uh, just look at the politics. All day long, all day long, uh, Indian is fighting Indian. And it is because there is no clear-cut vision going forward. And I know that the Prime Minister is an opponent. My responsibility is to question him. My responsibility is to ask questions and put pressure on him so he does his work. His responsibility is to give the vision. It's not there. I can tell you, guaranteed it's not there. And that's why China's in there today.